Hello. I'm not going to go through all of the welcoming formalities. This story is too disturbing, and I think frivolity has no place. I'm going to get right to it. I have two online articles, one from the New York Post and one from the Daily Caller. There are some slightly conflicting reports in those articles, as you might expect, since this is such a breaking story, but I think it all shakes up pretty well in the end. We'll start with the New York Post. Eight killed as truck plows into pedestrians in downtown New York City terror attack. A man in a pickup truck killed eight people when he drove onto the West Side bike path in Lower Manhattan Tuesday afternoon and then shouted, Alu Akbar, as he got out of the car with fake guns, police horses said. The suspected terror attack happened around 3.15 p.m. when a man in a flatbed truck from Home Depot veered onto the bike path at West Street a few blocks north of Chambers Street, police said. I have also read that this area is near the World Trade Center. The suspect, who was shot by police, then plowed his car in up to 23 people on the path, killing eight and injuring more than a dozen others, according to cops. He continued driving south and hit another car, then got out and displayed imitation firearms, police said. I read that one was a paintball gun and the other was a pellet gun. The man then shouted, Alu Akbar, according to police sources. Witnesses described a scene of terror as people fled for safety. Here's a picture of the truck with an incredible amount of damage to the front of it. Jesus, a car just ran over two people and then crashed into a school bus. I see two dead bodies and city bikes on the floor destroyed, a Twitter user wrote. What happened was there was a car crash. He came out of one of the cars. He had two guns, a 14-year-old Stuyvesant High School student said. We thought it was a Halloween thing. He started running around the highway. There was another guy in a green shirt that was chasing him around. I heard four to six gunshots. Everybody starts running, she added. The gunshots were from the police. Video of the scene shows at least two people lying limp on the street. Photos show a smashed-up Home Depot rental truck and two mangled city bikes. Counter-terrorist police were searching the truck for explosives. Oh my God, I just heard gunshots and ran with my dog. Downtown. Fuck, Josh Groban tweeted. Police shut down the FDR Drive south of 34th Street to rush victims to Bellevue Hospital. This is the second article. It's from the Daily Caller. Breaking. Eight killed in New York City terror attack. Attacker screamed, Alu Akbar, police confirm. At least eight people were killed and numerous injured in Lower Manhattan Tuesday afternoon in what Mayor Bill de Blasio called an act of terror. NYPD officials confirmed that the attacker drove a truck onto a bike path, hit several people and a school bus before opening fire. You'll remember the Post article said the attacker did not have workable firearms. He had a paint gun and a pellet gun. It was the police opening fire on the attacker that the people heard. First responders are currently swarming the site, an eyewitness told the Daily Caller News Foundation. The attacker is now in the hospital and in police custody. NYPD confirmed at a Tuesday press conference that the man yelled, Alu Akbar, while being apprehended. FBI agents have also opened an investigation into the terror attack, according to CBS. CBS reporters identified the shooter as 29-year-old Saifulo I can't pronounce that middle name, Saipoff of Tampa, Florida, but authorities have declined to confirm the perpetrator's name. After crashing his truck, the attacker leapt from his vehicle with fake guns and was immediately shot at least once by police. President Trump addressed the terrorism on Twitter within hours of the attack. Here's the tweet. In New York City, looks like another attack by a very sick and deranged person. Law enforcement is following this closely, not in the USA. The gunman has been treated for a gunshot wound and is still in the hospital. Two others hit by the vehicle are in New York City operating rooms, and at least two other victims are in the hospital, but in stable condition, police announced. The terrorist reportedly rented the truck from Home Depot. It appears to my uneducated eye that it was absolutely an attack, an eyewitness told the DCNF. I'm 100%. The attacker hit several direct targets on the bike path. There is no doubt in my mind. The attacker drove at least half a mile down a two-way bike path near the World Trade Center Memorial 
hitting several bikers. An eyewitness claims the attacker exited the vehicle near the Goldman Sachs building. Comm systems in at least one nearby building alerted those inside to an ongoing security event. SWAT officers reportedly cleared several of the lower buildings on the nearby waterfront and cordoned off the area in order to capture anyone fleeing the scene, the source said. That's all for now. If there are more details to the story that I find interesting, I'll do another video or two to flesh things out. As for now, all I can do is hope and pray for the victims and the families and for the world in general. Thank you for your attention.